Hi everyone, this is Laura and welcome to my channel. Today I will be sharing a project with you guys. Um, I Before I get to my project though, I just wanted to say welcome to all my new subscribers. And also a big thank you to all my older subscribers and friends. I just want to take the time to thank everyone um, so much for all their well wishes and all their comments and their love and support. Um, it has truly, truly, truly meant so much to me and it has definitely, definitely helped uh, out during some really rough times. I know that um, when I watch my friends' videos and I hear some of the stories, I just can't help but feel for them sometimes and you just want to help out in so many ways and sometimes just a kind word um, or a nice little message or just to know that they're there for you can make all the difference in the world and I know for me in my case it definitely has so thank you so much all my friends um, I have truly appreciated every single inquiry message um, blessing and prayer that you have sent my way so thank you all for that. Also, I just wanted to remind everyone that Diamond Dice is still having their monthly giveaway, which is called Make It With Diamond Dice. For all of you watchers and fellow crafters who have decided to go ahead and purchase a diamond die, you can still benefit from those purchases by making something with that die. It could be anything you want, as long as it's a new creation. And either posting a picture of it on Diamond Dice Facebook page, which I will have a link for you in the description box below. Or if you can also make a video and leave a message on the Diamond Dice YouTube channel that you have made the video, which I will also try to leave a link for that in the message in the description box below as well. So you have two ways to, to, to gain entries for those monthly giveaways and also just to let you know that the last release those dice are still on sale and if you use my coupon code thanks Laura you can get an additional 10% off what's already on sale so you get double savings with that and if you happen to make a purchase of $35 or more on top of those great savings you also get free shipping and I don't know about you girls but you all know I love free shipping that's my that's my um, you want to gain me as a customer just have free shipping available for not too much of a cost and I am so there as a customer I don't know what it is I just don't like paying shipping guys I don't know it's like a peeve of mine I, I'm not sure where that comes from but anyways um just to give you an idea um, of some of the dies that I used for my project. These are my diamond dies. I used these dies right here, which are the small monarch butterfly. My mini must-haves. And if you see an extra one, that's because I pulled this one from the realistic rose set. I've also chose to use that die as well. The inspiration for this project came from my sister Scrappers. Um, about a month and a half ago, she had made a mini album that was a waterfall mini album. And I so fell in love with it that I had to make one right, right away. Now, as I mentioned before, this project I made a little while ago. I just wasn't able to record it. Now, I am going to try my hardest once I finish um, making this video to leave all the links for Diamond Dice, my fellow designers, and my sister Scrapper in the you in the description box below. But because I'm doing this on an iPad, my husband's iPad, I may not have the ability to do that. I'm gonna try my best. But in case it doesn't come out the way I want in the description box, just head on over to diamonddice.com, which is right there for any information regarding your dies um, or diamond dies in itself. If you want their Facebook page, just message me, um, leave me a message and I will certainly send that information out to you in the comment section below. 
Um, I'm not sure how this is going to come out, but I pray that it goes well. So, I've shared with you the dies that I used for this project. Um, and I also used my Tilda stamp here, this pretty little girl here. And this is the um, Tilda with cross necklace. That's what she looks like right there. And I also used the Graphic 45 Secret Garden Papers. So this is my project and this is what I created. Um, so let me just start first with the cover. Um, I use Graphic 40. And by the way, my sister Scrapper, she has a tutorial on this mini album and it's a wonderful tutorial it's really easy she just does a really really awesome tutorial which is another reason why I fell in love with it and had to do it right away um, so yeah so I covered the whole book with my graphic 45 papers then I added this beautiful lace here and this beautiful trim here I also added some lace here on the binding and this lace here I got from my super sweet friend Sharon Husorolet 1. Thank you so much for that, Sharon. And I believe um, it was Jackie, Scrapping Latina, who had sent me this trim here. And thank you so much for that, my dear, dear, sweet friend, Jackie. Um, as I said, the roses I made, oh, well, the flowers here that I made, I made them all with my realistic rose die set and the mini must-have rose, well, the let me say that again. The realistic rose mini must have set and the smaller of the two petals of the realistic rose. I added some pearl centers. Here I have this little um, die cut piece here that I had in my stash and I just distressed everything with lilac and um, what was the other distress? Antique linen. That was the other one. I colored my image with my pro markers. And then I added some stickles to her. I added a little blink to her bow. Here is a mini must-have flower that I made with my diamond dies. And I added a little pearl center. Another mini must-have. And I just fussy cut her. Um, here is the flourish die. The nature's flourish die. Another one of my favorites from diamond dies. And I wanted it to look like vines, so I just had them going all over, and I added some of those little mini must-have flowers. Here I added some teardrop pearls here and pearls over here. And then up here in the corner, again, I'm trying to work out a different angle here, um, some more flowers that I made with my mini must-haves and my realistic rose dyes. And I tell you, my favorite paper flowers in the world to make now are all because of my diamond dies. I've never was one to make paper flowers until now. Now I'm just totally in a I don't think I'll ever have to buy, <laughs> buy flowers again. So on the inside here, um, I made the pocket as she instructed. I added some trim to mine and some ribbon and bows. And a little flower and some bling. Oh, my bling moved. I wonder why that happened. Oh, I'll have to fix that. It's not as straight as it should be. On the inside of the pocket, I added some cutouts from the paper collection. This has a cute little sentiment in the front. And the back can also be served as another photo mat. Or... Um, Another journal spot if somebody wanted to jot something down real quick. Here I have another little cutout, which I put some of the mini must-haves and a butterfly. And I also ran it through my notebook embossing folder to create lines for journaling. Another one of the small monarch butterflies. Again, another journaling pad. I just added some little bling to it. Here, some more cutouts, another one of my mini must-have flowers, some bling. And I distressed everything on here with the um, Great Preserves Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. And also I used the um, Great Jelly from 